his face. Yo, where the mother like she came over here on some shit. She said, "Fuck everybody." Like, yeah, where the mother, my nigga, look like, look at this shit, my nigga, like she tagged this shit. This is crazy. Like, we just begged her, shorty, please don't tag. Like, my nigga, look at this shit, my nigga. Not his face. Just don't do his face, my nigga. Just go do the other side. Don't do his face. Word of my mother. Nigga, I ain't going to jail behind no crazy chick. These niggas on Facebook also smacked her. Nah, I can't even do it like nah, that. Nah, I'm not doing it like that, but clearly y'all see it. Word hey, of yo, mother, my nigga. She what's said she's... Huh? Tell them what you're doing over here. Yo, word of mother, I was up, up here. I'm trying to... Pay my shoot. respects, do my own photo shoot. Shorty came up here, my nigga. Shorty's falling. Like All right. Now, most of you already know that my page is based on boxing. Sometimes I might dip and daddle into other subjects. All right. Now, we mostly all seen what happened with the Nipsey Hustle mirror with the, uh, you know, young lady going around spray painting putting graffiti or tagging it, whatever she was doing. And, you know, yeah, it was total disrespect. Now, um, <clears throat> one thing I heard that it wasn't in L.A. You know, it was somewhere over here on the East Coast. This had took had taken place and everything. That's what they say. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. But, you know, the, the, the main thing to the story, okay, yes, it was disrespectful, but what really got me was the people that were standing around all right now you got people in the comic section uh a section saying that oh she's disturbed she has mental problems oh okay well what about the people that standing around watching this happen now the uh other young lady the one who was filming it uh the one with the hat wig on wearing all blue had the nipsey hustle shirt on she uh, said, because she was on her Facebook Live, and she, you know somebody told her to go smack her, and, oh, no, I'm not going to jail. No. Well, yeah, but you do a whole lot of other things, much more worse to go to jail, like steal that wig you was wearing, right? No, I don't know. But, you know, it, you didn't have to commit to violence. You know, all you had to do is run up and snatch the paint out of the girl's hand. I mean, there was nothing much she can do to you. I mean, you, you didn't uh, assault her. I mean, all those people standing around there just looking like a bunch of dumb sticks in the mud. All right. It, it was guys that was there. OK, that girl was she, she was there by herself. All right. And, you know, what gets me is this. You got people stating that you have white supremacists coming into the black neighborhoods wearing a black mask and black uh gloves you know to look like black people and they be killing you know uh black people late at night well this right here proves that's false as well because if this was a white supremacist let's say she was white supremacist they can come right into our neighborhoods broad daylight when we are around and get away with doing stuff hey i mean look you seen what she was doing to the mirror and you ain't seen nobody doing anything they didn't have to convert to violence but they could have just, like I said, went up and stopped her. Take the spray paint, paint, uh, spray paint uh, cans away from her. And you know what else what kills me here is that I'll be hearing a lot of people say, I don't support uh, Michael Jordan or Floyd Mayweather. Man, he ain't never do nothing for the black community. Look at what's going down in his home state with the, uh, and with, with the bad water. It was it, Flint, Michigan. Yeah, man, Floyd Mayweather, he ain't, he ain't supporting the black community. And then you have guys like Michael Jordan, all this money he makes, he's worth billions of dollars. He ain't giving back to the black community. Look, I'm not trying to knock all black people. That's not what this is about. But let's just take a sit back and look at this. All right. Look at those who do help the black community. Some people like uh, Nipsey Hussle or that other young uh, black man that was killed down south somewhere who was a. Uh, giving out $20 bills to the elderly, you know, help them pay for their food. He ended up getting killed, okay, by another black man. Nipsey Hussle, he was trying to help his community. He ended up getting killed in his community where he was building stores at, and by who? Another black man. 
And then you had these other people with these conspiracy theories. Oh yeah, it was the government. Yeah, they 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 did it, man. Here you know, if it ain't white supremacists dressing up in a uh, mask and everything, then you have the government coming in and, and killing people. <laughs> you know, when it's us doing it ourselves. All right, I means whatever neighborhood this was done in, like Nipsey Hussle may not have, you know, contribute to that neighborhood because that's not the neighborhood he was from. Right, he was contributing to the neighborhood he was from, okay? The, the neighborhood he lived in. I'm not trying to repeat myself, but you get what I'm saying. All right? But, you know, you have to look at the principle of what Nipsey Hussle was about. Now, I ain't going to lie. All right? I, I never knew too much about the man until uh, someone named Say Less made a video about it. And I'm saying, who? Nipsey Hussle? Who's this? For real, for real. And then I start hearing all the good things. I mean, it's like, why do we have to hear all the good things about him when he's dead? Right? Why not do it now? I don't know, man. I, well, that's our, our culture. It's like with the Bible. You know, you wouldn't hear anything good about Jesus. That only thing you heard about, he was a fake. Uh, he, he did witchcraft. But after he died, everyone, you know, worshipped him. You know, so yeah, maybe that's how it go. And, you know, I just want to say one thing about this generation. Now, I know every generation is not A1. Okay, my generation wasn't A1 when we was young. We did, you know, some dirt and everything in our time. All right. Our music wasn't always good. Music from the 80s was good. Music from the 90s was okay until it got into the later 90s. Because in the early 90s, we still had artists, you know, that flooded in from the 80s and we had like philosophers and everything like Boogie Nam Reductions, Karis One, you know, uh, Public Public Enemy, you know, and that was like until the early 90s. And after that, the music just went to hell talking about killing, gangbanging and all that. But um, yeah, with this generation, it's like the camera, the cell phones, Social media, it replaces actions. I mean, you can still hear the people, they have a voice, but, you know, they, they're like actions being replaced by the cell phone and everything. So, you know, they, they're videotaping everything, putting it on a Facebook and Instagram, trying to get popular, trying to see how many likes they get, how many shares they get. Yeah, you do get paid for it on Facebook. You know, you get like about so many shares, you get like 10 grand. But, you know, getting back to it, like I remember it's over here in New York. I mean, I'm in New Jersey, but, you know, right next to New York, my state's right next to it. But I remember there was this young, young man, a little boy who was uh, who had like autism and he went missing. He never made it home from school. He was missing for days until one day uh, a young lady on the way home from school. Happened to spot the guy. She happened to spot him. And she pulls out her phone, take a picture, click chick, post it up on Facebook. I just seen such and such, the boy that has been missing for like six days. Yeah, I seen him on this train. Here he is right here. She posts up, you know. Then she, you know, get off her Facebook. And, you know, later on when she got off the train, you know, she get home, open up her phone, get, get on her Facebook just to see how many shares, how many comments, how many likes she got. You know, now instead of her staying on the train with the young man or either walking up to her to him and say, hey, aren't you such and such? I'm going to get you some help. I'm going to call the police, you know, and I'm going to tell them what train we're on and what stops we're heading to. So this young man could be found. I mean, the good thing he was found, but the sad thing when they found him, he was deceased. See, like I said, it's, you know, in this generation, uh, their actions has been replaced with social media. All right. I mean, this whole thing is a sad thing. So anyways, that's my take on this. This is Rona Higg and I'll catch you on the next one.